Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today I wanted to do a very spoilery review. Most of the time if I'm ever going to do a review, I do them spoiler free. But so many people that I love, so many subscribers that I enjoy very, very much, um, loved Behind Her Eyes and I really didn't. And I felt like I should probably do a review on basically why I didn't like it. Uh, so I'm gonna do that here. I hope that you guys don't hate me. But it just, it was really, it was not for me. So I'm gonna get into that now. If you have not read this and you do want to read this, do not watch this video because I'm going to ruin everything for you. Let's get into it. So I'm, I want to mention straight up that I started out enjoying it. I thought it was kind of fun. Uh, and by the end of it, I thought I was going to give it three stars. Since that, since I've had a little distance, I think I'm going to be rating this two stars. So this is going to be kind of a rant, spoilery review. Um, I thought we could start with the characters themselves. Uh, this book is about a girl who's a, well, a woman who's a single mother uh, named Louise. She goes out one night for a beer and meets David at this bar and they kiss and nothing else happens. And then the next day when she goes into work, she realizes David is her boss. Um, and she kind of freaks out and she leaves the building and she bumps into a woman named Adele and they become friends. Now, what I really struggled with in this book is specifically Louise. David, I thought he was really well written. I really enjoyed David. I got him. I really enjoyed that. Adele was pretty good too. Louise drove me crazy. I really didn't like Louise. Um, and me not liking a character isn't a good enough reason to give a book two stars. Um, but I thought people wouldn't act this way. It didn't make any sense to me. So, okay, so Louise, I think it's really unrealistic that Louise is just getting over the fact that her, her ex-husband uh, cheated on her. Um, her ex-husband is now expecting a baby with another woman. She is jealous. She is upset. Um, it really bothers her. That cheating still really bothers her. And the fact that she would um, have an affair with a married man really doesn't seem right. Like, not that it's morally, well, it is morally wrong, but, um, I don't think that's what someone would do if you were still grieving that. I think you would do anything but that. And I know that at the beginning of the book, she just kept saying, oh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. And, but they end up having an affair. And meanwhile, she is growing a relationship with Adele. And I didn't understand that either. Why you would do those two things doesn't make any sense, especially because Louise does have other friends. Uh, and she's not, you know, incapable of, of having friends. It's, it's not that she's lonely. Uh, she just randomly decides to hang out with Adele. And here's another thing that I didn't understand about her relationship with Adele. Adele invites her to go to the gym right away. Like, let's meet at the gym and, and work out. And Louise is like, oh, I'm a little overweight and like, it's not really what I, where I would want to go. And so she goes, okay, I can understand that. But all of a sudden, she's on this crazy, insane diet. She's working out like all the time because... Adele has told her that she should. That 
made no sense to me. At the beginning of any friendship, if someone told me that I ha had to change my appearance, basically, because when you're telling someone you have to go to the gym and you should no longer eat carbs at all, they are saying you look bad and you have to change and lose weight. If a new friend said that to me, I'd be like, bye, no thank you, that is unkind, and you don't even know me yet. And so I found that really unrealistic. Here we have a woman who can think for herself well enough that she can decide to have an affair um, with, with a married man and can be kind of selfish enough to do that um, while also knowing this other woman but at the same time she thinks so much about she's worried so much about what Adele thinks of her that she'll go on a diet and work out like crazy for her but she won't not sleep with her husband like that to me doesn't make any sense so I was not convinced of Louise's character whatsoever I also was not convinced of Adele's character in terms of getting the timing right that that she would meet someone who would go along with losing weight so she could set her and David up together. I found that really unrealistic as well. Okay, so now I want to talk about the twists. The first twist was spoiled. Um, before I even started reading this book, someone told me that this was uh, had some paranormal stuff in here. Now, when you're picking up a thriller, the last thing you think of is there's going to be something paranormal in here. Um, and so that, I believe, in and of itself is a spoiler. So I highly recommend that if you are going to recommend this book to someone, don't tell them there's anything paranormal in it because it really honestly pissed me off that I was spoiled for that. I, I was looking for a ghost, if I'm being honest. I didn't know that it was going to be this like jumping into each other's dreams and like moving around while dreaming and moving into someone else's body that way. Like I didn't know that that was going to happen. But that would have been a big surprise if, if I hadn't known that little spoiler. So that's annoying. Um, that said, it wouldn't have changed my outlook on the book at all. I, I struggled with, I, maybe it's the marketing of this book that they marketed it as a thriller. When you're reading a thriller, the last thing you think of is that there is going to be anything paranormal in here. And I think the joy of a thriller is that you are trying to kind of find out what happened. And if you get it right, you're kind of disappointed and happy at the same time um, and it's kind of that sleuth like um, vibe in in a thriller that's really fun and so you would never have guessed that there would be anything paranormal unless you were spoiled like I was um, so I I really don't like that it was marketed as a thriller I really didn't like that and even the beginning like I would never have guessed um, like it starts out with then, pinch myself and say I am awake once an hour, look at my hands, count my fingers, look at clock or watch, look away, look back, stay calm and focused, think of a door. I, I, I don't know, it just seemed so strange that it was this jumping in and out of one another's dreams. I just, I, I didn't get it. Even if I was reading like a horror book or something and that was happening, I would just be like, but why? Well, I just, I didn't like that aspect. And I know that that's just like probably my personal preference. Yeah, so that kind of just wasn't for me. I do have to say the second and final twist of the book where you discover that Rob has always been Adele. Rob is the guy that Adele and, uh, and him went to like a like a psychiatric ward essentially um, and they met there I would never have guessed that Rob had gone into Adele and taken over Adele's body and then at the end it turns out that Rob is now in Louise's body Louise has died and Adele has died a long time ago and now it's basically Rob 
with David because he's in love with David and he's gonna kill Louise's child at some point. I really liked that twist. I thought that was really fun. But again, it for it was about that jumping in and out of someone's body and I just did not like that. I have to say that I, I am going to read more by Sarah Pinbro, her latest book that is coming out really soon. Now I looked on Goodreads a little bit about Cross Her Heart, which is her latest book that's coming out really soon. When is it coming out? Oh yeah, in September. Um, this isn't meant to have any strange twists like paranormal twists it's meant to just be like a straight up thriller so I'm looking forward to this I didn't you know I didn't find this horrible writing or anything it wasn't like that it was just I didn't buy a lot and this book for it to have worked it would have had to make me suspend my disbelief and I just never worked for me it never never did um, so I'm gonna be passing this along and I do feel really bad though because I feel like so many of you were like I really think that you're gonna love it. It was my favorite book of the year and all of these things So just because I didn't like it doesn't mean that you can't like it and um, I mean there's so many books that I've loved and then someone else hasn't and it always makes me a little bit sad, but um, Yeah, I, I I'm glad that it worked for so many of you it just really really didn't work for me and maybe there was a little bit of like there's so much hype around behind her eyes there's so much hype around behind her eyes it's kind of crazy uh maybe that had something to do with it too but I really think it was the paranormal stuff being spoiled a for me and b being in there at all um and the way that it was in there like that was really what kind of ruined it for me so I wanted to make this little video because I did feel a bit guilty about not liking it. Um, and I just wanted to explain my whys. Some of it is really just personal preference. Um, and then some of it, I just, it just didn't quite line up the way I think Sarah Pinborough was really trying to make it line up. So I am actually still super eager to read cross her heart so I'm it's going down it's going down this fall um, but I hope that this video finds you well I hope you're still going to subscribe to my channel um, I definitely don't mean any offense by not liking it it's just we're all different right and we all have different books for different people and that's kind of nice anyway I hope you are all well and I will talk to you later okay bye